Cord. Hello to All you, right. Qu uh, Quirion. Hey, Quirion. Okay, that's uh, that's my friend Cassidy. So hi, Cassidy. Oh, nice. Uh, all right, so we got the first level here. Not and, and by the way, uh, as a heads up for anyone watching, okay. I'm skipping everything story related. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Kristen, for the host. I appreciate that. Oh, nice. I, I I see I see bloops in the chat. I don't know who that is. I see I see them eyes though. <laughs> hey, Legend of Jess. Yo. Hype man, that's me. Hello, man. I thought uh, Jess, uh, not uh, um, Alicia, I had Jess in the mind now. I thought Alicia was fast and deadly in the uh, game normally. This is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> See, here's the funny thing she's actually the slowest one for this map, really. Yeah, so when you get kills, uh, player like main characters like that do a little animation, right? Town Watchman oh. doesn't have that. Well, there you go. That's so, insane. So you just need to... Boom. Easy peasy. Yep, exactly. What's even better? You just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. M most people are like, okay, I got him. That's it. That's my turn. No more. <laughs> yeah, you take it, take it easy. That's what I love about th this freaking game. And it is amazing how gameplay-wise, 4 just really improves upon things. But, man, I would love us to get 3 at some point. Oh, my God. You're 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 speaking my language. I need I need all four games on modern platforms. Please. Seriously. If we could just get... I You know, I haven't played 2 in a while. Who knows how it stands up. But, dang it, I, I would still take a combo pack of 2 and 3. That'd be awesome. Oh, for sure. Just, like, kind of clean it up, HD it. And then put those two out as like a Valkyria portable bundle, I guess. I don't, I don't know what yeah. you would call it. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know what you. Yeah, I don't know what you would call it, but I mean, I don't know how well four did, but I still want it. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I do, I do wonder what the. I don't know what two's plot ended up being. I know it's the only game that takes place after the war. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, 1, 3, and 4 all take place during the same war, and 2 is a sequel, but I don't remember the story of 2 because I barely played any of it. I played yeah. like 10 minutes of it, and I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I played more than that, but I still kind of bounced off it, and it's just like, uh... yeah. I want to get that back to it at some point, but it just hasn't happened yet. But still, you got two, and then you're like, all right, we got a school setting. Americans love that. Eh, it didn't do too well. We should not port the one that's all about a black ops team. Yeah, exactly. Doing, doing like, doing the dirty work of the war. It's like, wait, what? No, that. I want that. Yeah, that, that was what we wanted. Bring that. <laughs> what are you doing? You brought the wrong one. Ugh, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> okay. All right. So this one's also very funny because normally you would have, you know, each individual character you're taking out these little scouts in the beginning here, right? I don't care about my damage. Okay. So <laughs> so instead what you just do, what if instead of playing the game we just, just ignored the tutorial, first of all. Mm-hmm. They just kept going. What? I'm getting shot a few times, whatever. Eh, she's a tough girl. She can make it. Yeah, exactly. She's a baker. She she works with, you know, sticky situations all the time. <laughs> I love it. There we go. And that's the first oh, yeah. round. It just takes out all the rest if you do that. <laughs> really? Yeah. They just disappear now. Cutscene. And then, it's like, uh, ah, crap, they got that guy. Like, let's get out of here. <laughs> it do be like that, though, in some games. RP so you beat the RPG boss, and now... No, <laughs> no don't blow up the tank yet. The tank is going to be where I end things off. You remember that uh, desert tank? Yes. The big, the Batamas or whatever, you first meet Maximilian. Uh -huh. That whole mission is beaten in four turns. Holy crap. Yeah, that is so, ridiculous. Yeah, it's a it's a lot going on. <laughs> um, oh. 
E.T. E. Yeah, been in the chat watching festival. uh watching Valkyria Chronicle speedruns makes me feel like I'm playing the game wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I can see that. I, I I still love this game, even though I take it slow and steady and all that, because you know, you want all the experience and whatnot. Oh, that's what well, makes speedruns right. fun. Yeah, exactly. I, I mostly play this game casually, but you know, I just wanted to do something kind of fun and different. Welkin's a tough boy. He can take it like a yeah, champ, seriously. no problem, and we're done. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you just you just run. It doesn't matter. Who cares if there's a tank? I'm over here now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everybody else is with me now. That is ridiculous. And the thing is, you're finishing it so quick, you're probably getting a ton of XP anyway that you would don't need to worry about. Yeah, you you joke, but yeah, that's actually true. Most of the experience you get is like calculated to like the exact like amount you would need uh and for the most part it's uh it's it's pretty well paced uh I, I'll, I'll only be visiting the uh like the training field and all that i only do that once and i oh, okay. say that's it's next chapter i think <laughs> um so th this is another big mission uh for like a choke point for early like players mm -hmm. it's the uh it's the one where you defend the gate uh, oh, okay. And for a lot of players, you know, you can sometimes screw yourself by shooting the gate or something like that. And you know what? That's not a lot of fun, uh, you no. know, when it happens. But you know what we could do to prevent that? Maybe just having more turns, right? Like having more CP to use. Uh -huh. So what if we just didn't play the game instead? How about that? Let's build up. Let's build up that CP. We're not going to play the game. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so. I mean, the only right move is not to play in war, I guess. <laughs> yep. That the fastest strat is the is not the strat at all. <laughs> uh what what's wow. the record for this game? Uh that's actually a good question. Uh can we look that up? What is this record? Uh, hold on. Let me see. see. Speed run record. Up here. We got here. Uh, one hour, fifty-six minutes, and thirty-four seconds. But done oh. by the end. Yo, nice. With two Ds. <laughs> Kristen, Rob wins by doing nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, with the PS, you know, with people playing on PS Five, that can be done even quicker now. That's true. You're right. I'm not uh, sure how uh, competitive this speed run is for uh, that. Oh wow. Well, maybe not, because it's this was done on PC. It's uh, all yeah. PC version. Yeah, PC version is probably, like, the most played version. Oh, that's not good. We want to take that guy out. And only one person did it. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, okay. It's, oh, okay. That's interesting. They have time with loads and time without. And on PC, it's the same. But on PS4, uh, no, it's the same. I don't know how they uh, work this. Well, just for comparison's sake, on the PS3 versions, it's two two and a half hours. <laughs> huh. I mean, that makes sense because <clears throat> uh, the PS3 version uh, is the worst running one. Even the Switch version runs better than it. So. Oof. Yeah. And I, Oof. I still say my favorite uh, game on the PS3 was this game. I I loved this game. It like shocked me just how much fun I had. Yeah, same. Uh, ironically, I heard about this game from uh, every single review of Codename Steam. Uh, yeah, that was me. Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually have a story for that because I was at E3 when they revealed Codename Steam. Steam they had they said we're showing off a new IP, uh, mm -hmm. and they had this whole thing going on at the uh, the the small room that Nintendo was going to show it off in, and it ended up being Codename Steam. And mm -hmm. I was the only one in that room that was actually excited because I saw the gameplay. It's like, it's like Valkyria Chronicles. And we hadn't gotten anything since two in a long time. So I was like, yes, yes, give me this. I want this. This is awesome. And nobody else cared. Yeah, well, exactly. Because it's like, it's a strategy RPG. Like, so like not, not a lot of Westerners are into that. So when you have like a closed door event at E3, people are thinking, oh, what is this big thing that they're going to show off? And it was like, for a lot of people, it was like, oh, whatever, who cares? It's like, no, no, this is hype. It's an RPG. Play it. <laughs> like... <laughs>
Well, tank arrived. Now it's time to kill. <laughs> yep, now that I have all that CP stocked up, I can just move forever now. <laughs> Which they do try to balance it in this by making the uh, um, tank have less uh, movement speed, movement uh, bar for each time you use it. Yeah, exactly. But you can, I still cheese the heck out of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then uh, Valkyria 4, they make it so uh, tanks only take one CP in that game, which is like a very odd choice. But like, yeah. But based on how the maps of that game work out, it kind of makes sense because if they took up two CP in that game, you would never use your tanks ever. So true. I I was shot when I because I played four uh, when I streamed this game. Um, which funny enough, that's the, the playthrough after I finish uh, um, the Pokemon Platinum. It's Valkyria Nexus. That's um, that I'm uploading on my VOD. So nice. it just happened to work out that way. Um, but when I came back to play, I was like, man, I kind of missed the mortar units because they're awesome. They're, they're pretty great. Oh my God. I love, uh, what are they? Grenadiers is their name, right? Yeah, that's it. The Grenadiers. Yeah. I love Grenadiers. Those are so fun. Getting like three or four of them and just having them sit in the back and just pelt people from a distance mm -hmm. is so much fun. There you go. You won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mito oh. points out they do have, tanks do have limited ammo in four as well, which yeah. Oh, that's point. true. I totally forgot that. That wasn't even a change I like registered honestly because at the time it had been a minute since I played one, right. so like I was like, oh yeah, they do have limited ammo. And the other thing is, is that you don't because of the amount of CP you use, you never really use the tank that much in this game anyway. That you had to worry about ammo. That was <laughs> yeah, just exactly. The way they balanced it. All right, let's let's here. I'm mashing X and options, so <laughs> let's let's get this done. <laughs> Come on now. Oh no! Ah, okay. So I I had to specifically make notes for this because I do want to make sure I level up in the exact way I need to. Oh, okay. Um, so command room first, and I need a certain. I need a certain set of characters, so hopefully I get those. If not, no big deal. I have a save file for the final mission, so even if I don't get what I need right now, it shouldn't matter too much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is one moment where I was able to outmash the tutorial uh, video that I had saw a couple <laughs> days ago, where because every amazing. picture and all the text boxes load so much faster. <laughs> Uh, we'll... So getting wavy, Nancy. Uh, let's see. It's. I want to say. I... Yeah, I'll take you. Uh, you and... somehow got her own DLC. <laughs> uh, apparently, she's just like a huge fan favorite, and I. I don't know. I never played her I... DLC, so. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but it's also like, I mean, I guess it's because she's a kind of a pop, a, a, like a pop idol as well. I don't know. Huh. Uh, okay. I, I used her a little bit, but not a ton. <laughs> Ooh, I might Honestly, I love getting my snipers leveled up because they it's, it, they got the better equipment and whatnot. The sniper uh, reticle was so small, you were guaranteed a headshot. Yeah, right. Uh, and then... I'll take you. You're cool. Okay. okay. And I only need one engineer. Uh, so take your pick. Who do you want? You can have any oh, of these. Oh, geez. Let's go with, uh, I don't know. Let's go with Dallas. Yeah, Dallas looks good. Dallas Salad. Okay. Uh, let's see. And we'll take a sniper just for the hell of it. Why not? Why not? Oh, and then I just I have to mash the rest. You know, AD is fine, but I prefer the rest of her attachment, especially Jan and Mar Marina. Yeah. Jan <laughs> Jan is such a stereotype, but I still love him. Mm-hmm. He he's a good boy. I like him. Yeah. Yeah, Back yeah. Back in yeah. the days when uh uh oh, I can know his name. Wow. John DiMaggio did a lot more uh, video game voiceover. Mm -hmm. Not as much anymore. I mean, in general, there's a lot of voice actors who, like, around 2012 to 2013 just gave up on video game voiceover, and it's kind of upsetting. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I know Laura Bailey she uh, and Troy Baker, they, like, stopped 
coming back to Persona 4 spinoffs because they were like, eh, like, I got other things to do now. And it's like The Last of Us, Gears of War, and all this stuff. And, and right. don't get me wrong, I love those too. But, like, it was just like, of course, the, the first spinoff we get for Persona 4 that doesn't have Laura Bailey in it is the one that focuses on Rise. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. It's like, God damn it, you, could, you couldn't come back for just one game. Just this one of all the games. <laughs> um, and yet they got her back for uh, Near Replicant. So that was, I was actually surprised by that. Yeah, she's getting back into it again now. Um, as well as anime, which is nice. Uh, oh, okay. She, th there was a period know, of time where she... came she... back for Fruits Basket. Exactly. That, that was what she came back for. And since then, she's had a few other roles and other things. And it's like, oh, oh wow. it's actually nice to see you back again. <laughs> Dang. Always, um, always got to appreciate that. Nope, not snipers. Oh, I didn't realize Ashley Birch was the one who replay, uh, who took over for her in uh, dancing. Yep. Uh, and I, if I recall, someone can probably correct me. I think that was the last time... There was like new voiceover for the Persona Four cast, because Q was wasn't Q two was not dubbed, so <laughs> yeah. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. All right, there we go. And that's all. Oh, also, <laughs> uh, this guy's John DiMaggio, uh, eye patch guy. Oh, yeah. Lucas oh, in the yeah, chat. Definitely. Whoa, a video game. Yeah, they invented these. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, Fall 56 ain't mentioning Troy Baker didn't return to Tales of Asperia due to his studio not contacting him to record the new lines, but he said he would have said yes if they asked him. That's so <sighs> weird. See, and that Why makes would you me... not ask him? <laughs> that makes me really upset because one of my biggest gripes with uh, Vesperia Definitive <clears throat> is the janky... English dub where mm. half of it is old voices and half of it is new voices. <laughs> yeah. And it, and they I, didn't dub over yet, the old it's... lines, so <laughs> It's very strange. I I need to play that. Yeah. I it, um I've thought about introducing Amy to uh a, a Tales game uh to play just because we'd actually be able to play together with the the way the combat works. Mhm. Mm it's fun. Uh, Symphonia, Vesperia, uh, maybe Graces, uh, if you have access to that. Those are all, like, really good ones to have, so. Yeah. I, uh, I've only, I've only played through Symphonia, but I did enjoy it. It's a good, it's, it's a good game. I mean, it's, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, to make, like, an apt comparison, it's the uh, FF6 of Tales games. Like, not everyone played it because it's kind of, like, hard to get a hold of nowadays, but, like, it's a good game and people should play it still. <laughs> yeah. Let me see here. Is Let me check Amazon. Is is the HD version of uh, freaking Tales of Symphonia hard to get a hold of now? Uh, n no, that one's easier to get a hold of. I, I mean, nowadays, it's easier. But, oh, okay, okay. But, like, it's not on consoles yet. It's, you know, it's like that. Well, it's on PS3, but, like, that's still hard to get. Yeah. Because that was a limited I mean, it's one. Get, it's getting up there. The Tales of Symphonia Chronicles game is up to uh, 64 bucks used. <sighs> that's, like, way higher than when it launched. It was, like, 30 or 40 when it came out. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, I picked that one up. <laughs> yeah. I picked that up at the time, but... Eventually, I switched to digital-only games, so <laughs> I missed out on that one. I, I, uh, I don't know. I still love my physical. <laughs> oh yeah, that and that, and that's fair because there's you know for me for me it's a thing of like I just want all my games in one convenient spot. I don't want to get up and switch games every single time. That kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it makes sense for the Switch. I, I've definitely leaned more towards that on the Switch than other systems. Mm -hmm. For me, it's uh on like my series x and ps5 the the disc reader is so loud that i just i don't i don't want that i <laughs> i don't want to i want to hear that just use your ssd <laughs> it's <Yeah>. quiet <laughs> i don't have to listen to it uh oh jess mentioned tales of horizon god that looks so good i'm so glad yeah. that they're finally making a tales game that i'm like super excited for <laughs> again <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I, it's one of those, like, well, the thing is, so many, so many games, so many RPGs, and I just, uh, it's like, I can't, I, it's hard to find the time, especially, you know, now having a kid, it's like, I can't just, you just can't sit down and just lose the day in it anymore. You just, you gotta do other things at the same time. Mm -hmm, for sure. Um, let's see. So, how much do the speedrunners actually uh, bother, do they bother upgrading their equipment, or just... Uh, a little a little bit it's not much uh you do one uh equipment run in chapter three and then you don't touch it again until chapter seven so okay. uh and even then i have an optimal setup for chapter seven on a save file so i'll just load that up to make it easier because i already have everything done we don't need to go back and do all that again uh Perfect. uh i know it's okay so <laughs> I want to make sure I get this right. I'm so uh, mad at myself for not remembering to put uh, my switch into airplane mode. <laughs> oh yeah, the world ends with you, Neo. Your copy got mm -hmm. axed by Nintendo in in Square. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. That yeah. that sucks. I just it just didn't even click with me. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I should do that. All right, we just need one shock trooper. That's all we need. <laughs> the idea is to, uh, you know, pincer attack from both sides, but uh, that's dumb. We're not going to do that. <laughs> we're, we're just going to throw them into the fray of it. <laughs> all right, skip, skip, skip. Uh, Chris Ten Ten, I did not get to see much of I don't really get the chance to watch SGDQ too much. I, I always hear about it, but I kind of end up missing it a lot of times it's because I have so much else going on that I can't sit down and just watch it mm. so. uh, for me I, uh, I, I I've been slowly chipping away at it like before I go to bed I'll just have my laptop and uh, just have things kind of just running in the background um, and I watched uh, a really fun run to watch is uh, Dead Space 1 um, the the amount of ways they break that game is really hilarious because they know the devs are watching them and they're and they're no. like, sorry to the devs who worked hard on this one really cool thing, but this one really cool thing let us glitch out of the map and just pass it. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, no pincer attack. We're just gonna do this instead. Is there only one person you have to kill? <laughs> uh, yes, actually, there's only one wow. person. And the only reason it's them is because, uh, because this guy doesn't die. Um, <laughs> he, yeah. he just, we just knock him out of the way. Get out of there. <laughs> All right. That's and the then... crazy thing. I remember points where this game where you were trying to run past and it would just tear through your armor so quick. And then. There we go. And we're done. Oh my god. <laughs> that was what? A minute or two at most? Yeah. yeah. Roundabout. That's ridiculous. One turn, baby. Let's go. One turn. I, I, I wish they gave you a time like an actual timer. That would be nice. I blinked. <laughs> <laughs> I am utterly amazed. Oh, is this the one I think it is? Uh, yeah, this is the uh, the one in the Fog City. The There's like oh, snipers okay. now and stuff like that. Yeah. This one's really hilarious because we only use one character. Or two. <laughs> we use two characters. That's it. Mm -hmm. But it's still good. All right. That's, come a, on. that's I love it. Buffy 86 says it's funny to see DK64 speedruns that are under 30 minutes. Considering it took me like 23 hours to get through DK64, I was like, yeah, that's I, I can imagine that being pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, what did you end up thinking of DK64? Because I know most people nowadays are cold on it, but... <laughs> Honestly, I mean, maybe it's my, I might be have a, a skewed perspective just because I have... Um, I had chat helping me out to find things and remember things. So it's mm -hmm. hard to say for sure, but what I did play and had to go through, 
it's it's not that bad. It's you know, the mini games aren't great. The thing that drove me nuts was the barrel, uh, jet barrel control sucked, <laughs> um, and I think if you it could be cleaned. The thing is, it doesn't feel like a lost cause to me because you could easily do a remake and fix a lot of the issues, and. It, I think it'd be widely known. Realized it's like, yeah, you know what? This is pretty good. You fix those little few things, and all of a sudden, moves a lot quicker, and uh, don't have the issues you have anymore. And yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so, I, I think that I think a remake would change people's perspectives. It's just whether or not they actually do it, which mm, probably not. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm glad you you know for the most part kind of enjoyed it. I I think people are a little too hard on that game because people are. There, there are a lot of people that are under the assumption you have to 100% that game, and it's like, not really? No, you just need to get <laughs> half the, the 100. You just There's 201 bananas, you need to get 100 to win. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, you can beat the game with half of the work, and and it's not like Mario Odyssey where it's like, not, not to dunk on that game. I did enjoy that game, obviously, but like uh -huh. a lot of the moons in that game are like, you kicked a trash bag, here's a moon. And I'm like, uh, yeah. Great. I'm, I'm glad I could have picked this one instead of doing that huge, fun platforming challenge. <laughs> like, yeah, that, I think that's the the big criticism with uh, with that one <laughs> with uh, Galaxy is just like the moon stopped feeling eventful. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, there we go. So, what if I told you that wall's breakable? I don't even know if I realized that. I don't think anyone did. I certainly didn't. <laughs> How the heck did somebody find that out? That it was like, I'm going to bomb this random wall. Or maybe somebody, the tank shot at them and they were like, okay, we're, uh, that, that could help. Yeah, exactly. Maybe someone like threw a grenade at that shock trooper and it just so happened to hit the wall. I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know how a lot of speedrunning tricks get discovered, but... Um... I know I never used the first time I played this. I barely used those orders. It's like I want to use my CP for the soldiers. I don't need to. I don't want to buff them. All right, so I need to trick this guy. To come on, you son of a bitch! Come on, <laughs> shoot me, <laughs> eat me! <laughs> hey, oh my God, he took out the tank. Yep, that is amazing. All right. That and is then, amazing. Then one more. <laughs> and then just right here. <laughs> Get him. Get him out of there. <laughs> Goodbye. And then end action. Okay. Okay. So what you want to do with this guy, you don't want to go for headshots because he's crouching. Holy crap, there's a spider in front of me. I want to get rid of it. Um, oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. He's kind of just chilling right now, so I'll let him live. But <laughs> um, but because he's crouching, he doesn't take headshot damage. So you just aim anywhere on his body, and, it, and nine hits will kill him. No problem. Nice. Just gotta hope to hang on enough with that 49 HP. That, there you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. 56, and yet that that this mission took me like 40 minutes on my first playthrough. Same. On my first playthrough, I had to Same. play this mission multiple times. So. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> wow. I just thought it'd be fun to show off this stuff because, like. When you really think about it, like, we, because we all spent, you know, almost hours on individual missions replaying them sometimes because it just, like, oh my god, this is so hard. But, like, mm -hmm. you can kind of cheese it if you know just exactly what to do, you know? Oh, absolutely. You are demonstrating that quite clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Legend of Jess says the spider is a bigger enemy than anything in the game right now. Yeah, real talk. It kind of is because it disappeared behind my monitor and I don't know where it went. <laughs> It found a fly. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Exactly. Oh, 
Okay, let's save. I'm, I'm saving before every mission, so if I have to redo something, I don't have to play the entire game again. <laughs> Fair. Uh, okay. This isn't now, going for the actual record, so. <laughs> yeah, right, right, exactly. Uh, oh, this is the uh, this is the mission where you invade the camp, and that the tank guy shows up if you get too close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we beat this with one character. Um, just so you know. <laughs> Of course. Uh, uh, and then let's let's put you in there. Let's put you in there. Uh, yeah, for funsies, we'll put you in there. All right. There we go. <laughs> and that's all. <laughs> so hey. I, uh, I, 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 since you're obviously such a big Chie fan, I got to ask, do you prefer um, original dub Chie or second dub Chie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I I so I like I like Tracy Rooney. She does a great job, because uh, that's the one I you know when I first played through the game, right? Uh, and I have no problem with her acting or anything, but I I like Aaron's energy more, because um, mm. it kind of fits the character. But I I kind of understand when people are like, eh, she's a little ear grating. I'm like, yeah, there are some reads of her lines where I'm just like, that was a little too high pitched or something <laughs> like, <laughs> but that's not really her fault. More or less. That could just be a voice direction thing. Oh, you know? that's definitely a voice direction type thing. Mm -hmm. Um, is, uh, I forget. Did they ever say why they changed the voice actor? Um, I think they changed it because, uh, as far as I know, Oh, uh, real quickly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Get, there we go. Are got a little extra you, boost out of that? that. Yep. Oh, got my a little, God. Got a little extra uh, <laughs> distance out of it <laughs> when her limp body goes flying forward <laughs> from the explosion. <laughs> you got to aim it just the right direction. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I was going oh so God. slow. I was trying to aim it. <laughs> Mind um, boosting. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. Uh, with... Uh, Oh, what what did you say? I'm sorry, I totally spaced. Oh, I was asking uh, why they decided to um, recast. Oh, they uh, they recasted her because uh, Tracy Rooney, her only role uh, in video games or anything was Chie. So really, I wow. I think they she maybe just didn't. Damn it! Got to reload the map. <laughs> I was gonna say it's looking a little rough for you. <laughs> Yeah, I think I uh, I took a little too da too much damage going into that. I should have uh, flanked him a bit more. Oh well, just uh, reload the save. No problem. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, which do you prefer, uh, PS2 or uh, Golden Onward GA? I, I will say that it threw me off because I've I've not played through any of Golden, but I've ex I experienced that new dub GA th through um, dancing. So it was oh. a bit of a, a you know adjustment to go from original Persona 4 Chie to uh, dancing Chie, and it was a little weird at first, but then by the end of it, it was like, yeah, I'm, I'm down with this Chie. It's all good. Yeah, she she's uh, I, I really enjoy Aaron, and she really loves the character. Um, if you go to her Twitter, I want to say her Twitter is like an edited picture of uh, what's her name from Ed and Eddie, uh, Naz, the blonde girl. But oh. she she has like Chie get up, <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it's That's so she's awesome. like she's like really adopted the character as like a thing for her. She had the voice her a lot of times. Oh yeah, she she, she uh she voiced Chie any time after the original game, so. That's crazy. All right, let's let's try this one more time, and this time I'll save in the map. So, so that way we don't have to do the cutscene again. Oh yeah, and and Aaron follows me on Twitter. She's never interacted really? with me, but she follows me, and that's what's important. <laughs> that's crazy. I th I think when I saw that notification, I immediately like took a screenshot. And I was just like, breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> can't talk, can't talk. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't think I realized that Persona, the original Persona Q was uh, English voiced. Yeah, that was that was the only one they voiced. Uh, that was still, luckily, at the time they cared about 3DS games. So, oh, uh, yeah. 
I can't blame them for not dubbing two though. Like that that was no. that would have been a huge undertaking for a game that sold no more than a hundred thousand copies guaranteed. <laughs> like yeah. yeah, that's for sure. I have Q two on my three DS, but I I never beat the first one, so I'm like, eh, I don't want to jump into the second one, but like I have it, so you got me, I, but <laughs> I played more of this I played a decent amount of the second one. I never got enough far enough for the P three main cast. I got Katone, but I didn't get the P three cast in. Damn. I appreciate you calling her Katone though. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, I've never played Persona 3 Portable, so she's just Katone for me. Ah, uh, that makes sense. So I don't know what other people call her. Uh, I okay, I want to say be. in uh, in pre-release footage uh, of Persona 3 Portable, she w uh, had a fill-in name as Hamuko. Um, mm. But, you know, ever, ever since the Puzzle and Dragons crossover, uh, people have just kind of said, yep, Katone is her name. <laughs> Alright. Makes sense to me. Don't step on that mine. Oh, okay. Alright, I should be okay now? Question mark? <laughs> Don't die, please. Thank you. There you go. Fuck you. You got that pot shot on me. <laughs> Alright, take the heal. And I'm already at the camp. It was so funny when uh, we were playing through Danganronpa for the uh, GX Game Club, and John got to, uh, you know, we got to the point where Genocide Jack was revealed. I I never played like, Danganronpa, so. Oh, okay. He's like, well, that's Aaron. It's that character's played by Aaron Fitzgerald. It's like that's freaking Chie. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go. Okay, hang on. Now I might need to play it. <laughs> well, now I'm yeah. interested. Like, it's it's pretty funny because it's it's almost like it's just a crazier version of her Chie voice. Oh really? Yeah. Mm, I'm not a hundo on this map right now. Uh, I don't think my oh, movement rough. was a yeah. No, I don't. I don't think my movement was optimal enough. But we'll see how that goes. All right, I need to. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'll take four shots. That's fine. So what I need to end up doing is taking this guy out by the time I reach that camp, and then uh, and then I have to take out the shock troopers as well that are in that camp. So. Oh, I see. Okay, you know what? I could probably get him next time, and that's fine. That kind of works yeah. out. Uh, Mido points out that Q2 is much better than the original. Actually, feels like a Persona game than uh, than just an excuse to have Persona characters meet up. I didn't realize that was a uh, problem with the original Q. I mean, I, I, never, I, I, I have it, but I never that. played it because <laughs> I'm like, well, I should probably play through Persona 4 and 3 before I, you know, play this. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I mean, to an to a degree, for the most part, Q is its own thing. Um, uh, okay, hang on, just gotta... Yeah, you just rip him out. And... Oh this, my god. This, this situation that is close. You are cutting it so close, you might have to do another turn. If that happens, uh, she's kind of dead. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Okay, as long as I can get four headshots on this guy, I should be okay. Okay. I think I got him. I think you got him. It's, it's point blank. <laughs> Yeah, right. That was literally in his face. He could not move. All right, and we're done. There you go. Nicely done. <laughs> a little more difficult than the others, but still done. Yeah, right. It's just really tense because your your movement has to be very optimal for that. Because if you're even just slightly off, it throws the whole thing off. Like, because you need to take those three guys out. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So, yeah. Um, but with the the original Q, I kind of enjoyed it. But uh, it was basically just Etrian Odyssey with the uh, Persona 3, 4, and 5, or uh, 5 later. Uh, uh, one more. That was kind of... And, like, that was cool, but, like, it wasn't really Persona. It was just Etrian Odyssey with a Persona skin. Right. <laughs> I would be very sad if you got that close and you didn't get headshots. <laughs> <laughs> um... 
It's like the, uh, what is it, the Looney Tunes short where uh, Elmer shoots bugs point blank, point, shoots bugs point blank, misses, and Bugs just puts blind glasses on him. It's like, <laughs> shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, uh, I've been meaning, speaking of uh, Looney Tunes, I've been uh, meaning to watch uh, the new Space Jam movie because not a single person on Twitter has said good things about it, and I'm very excited for that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've heard. Like, at its best, it's fine, and at its worst, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you look at the original Space Jam, it's also kind of dumb, but you kind of love it for that. Uh, I think somebody pointed out that the... Uh, the big thing that the uh, original has over this one is the fact that Bill Murray was in the original and it had the song. Oh, yeah. That's fair. Uh, you let's gotta have the song. See. Yeah, you always gotta have the song. Wait, is the song not in the sequel? Hello? Uh, not, not that I'm aware of when I listen to it. It's gotta be like in the credits or something, right? It might be in the credits, but why would you stick it in the credits when you could put it in the, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Main movie. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> why? Why would you use it when you cannot use it? <laughs> what a glowing review. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually. Uh, my my mom is a huge like she's huge on nostalgia. So when she heard a new Space Jam was coming out, she's like, Robbie, you got to come over and you got to watch it. It's going to be great. And I'm like, no, mom, I I really don't want to watch that. And then I saw it was on <laughs> HBO Max and I was like, you know what? I got the free time. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. This ought to be interesting how you break this one. <laughs> okay. So got quite a distance to travel, right? <laughs> like, yeah. got to You think you, you got to take out all these enemies, all these tanks. How about instead... We just defense boost Alicia. <laughs> God, I love the order animation. It's so cool. It's yeah. I just love that it's like they do the typewriter thing. Like he's actually issuing a formal order, and it's like, how does that work for defense? How do how do you? It's <laughs> it's lock. It's uh, like, hey soldier. I, I I sort of assume it's like. We gave an extra bulletproof vest that we had to requisition because bureaucracy. <laughs> Uh, that, you, you know what? That makes sense. I'm kind of down with that idea. Because we all know bureaucracy is just a pain in the butt. It really is. Alright. Uh, yeah, I need to heal here. Okay. So, uh, fun fact. Uh, when this level inevitably gives you the sandstorm, that is uh, planned based on your positioning. So, hmm. if once you reach a certain point, the map just says, oh, hey, time for a sandstorm. Oh, goody. And because of that, I'm going to I'm gonna be really sneaky about this. Oh, I should have healed there, damn it. All right. Oh, well. Okay. All right. Let's... Yeah, I think you're still solid. All right, there we go. Hopefully, this doesn't happen to me like what happened last time, where I threw the grenade and it just rolled away from him. Oh, God. The sandstorm took it away. Yeah, right. Just carried it to oblivion, and I was like, well, goodbye, world. <laughs> Thanks for the cover game. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, I'm going to heal here so I can take a couple shots while I make a beeline for the fucking flag. <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah, right. Okay. There you go. I'm so close. Stop shooting me. Occupied. Wow. <laughs> the flag change. You're done. You can't shoot me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I captured the flag. It's uh, it's it's mine now. You can't shoot me. That's how huh. that's how war works. <laughs> Damn it! It's the color blue. I give up. <laughs> the entire empire leaves. Makes complete sense. Makes a little bit more sense when you're playing uh, in the um. I mean, while well, you're playing normally and killing everybody, it's like, okay, everybody's dead. This is our land. Yeah, right. <laughs> Everyone's already dead. Now the flag changing makes sense, but not not when there's still literally dozens of tanks and enemies left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my streaming program closed. Uh, is Do you happen to have the Twitch up or no? 
Yes, I have the Twitch up. Is it running right now? My PC is uh, like chugging. Yeah, it's showing live. It says new episodes have been added. Okay. Well, all right. Hmm. Well, yeah, my whole my whole thing just froze up, but for some reason the game preview is still going, but like the audio is frozen in one spot. The chat hasn't moved for me. I, I can't see that at all. Well, that's <laughs> odd. I, I've had that happen where if like the program is obviously crashed, but it's still go like streaming, continuing, working and all that. But it's also one of those things like, well, as soon as I turn this off, it's going to be lost. So, yeah, oh exactly. Oh, didn't mean to hop into this one. Uh, I have a save file for this already set up. So uh, oh, okay. with, the, with the save file, all I did, uh, I didn't change anything. Uh, I just, I have an optimal setup for it already. And I didn't want to mm -hmm. spend time going through all the cutscenes and everything for right. it. So uh, let's uh, title screen. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just as we can see, it's just fine. Okay. That's good. Alrighty, load save. Now, this is one that is a huge choke point for a lot of players, right? Like, mm -hmm. you got this giant ass tank, you got all these fucking dudes up here being fucking silly boys. Uh, we don't like that. So what we're gonna do, yeah, uh, get Theod over here. Let's have <laughs> him chill right there. That's a good spot, away from guns. <laughs> Brick walls stop guns like sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and then Until we'll you get... find out they can be uh, destroyed with a grenade. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Just one grenade is all it takes. All right. And then uh, uh, let me see. Uh, with this guy, I want to say. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Roger Craig Smith. I love your voice acting. Please stay, Sonic. <laughs> Thankfully, he is. For now. <laughs> I, st I still have my doubts because, uh, I don't know. He They like they made a really weird stink about him coming back. And I'm like, I don't know. I, I feel like he's only coming back for color stuff because he was in colors already. But I, I hope he stays because I like him a lot. <laughs> yeah, same here. But who knows? We still need to... Like, once we see the... Uh next game right once we see 2022 uh mm. we'll uh hopefully get an idea of uh of everything going on there I'm on my way now. all right so ideally i want to aim for his head but slightly above it so i can maybe get the lancer as well yeah i thought that's what you were trying yes oh, nice yeah two for one mm. baby combo <laughs> And then this guy just fucking sucks. He's going to get out of here. <laughs> I'm on my way now. Right, I was going to say, on. cleared the way. <laughs> I just love it's a continuous string of bullets into his head. <laughs> I know. It's so brutal. All right. And that's it for that. Uh, I want to say that's everything. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So I'll just end my turn. All right. No. <laughs> I don't know why you're issuing this order when you can't hit anybody, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, annihilate our enemies. Uh, Your hello? corpses, get up and fight for me. <laughs> yeah, right. Hello? Where is everyone? Hello? <laughs> God damn it. Why are you all dead? <laughs> <laughs> Who said you could die? <laughs> this is not part of the Empire's plan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I, okay, for this one, all you do, and get rid of these sandbags. Don't really like them. Yeah, they're kind of in the way. Yeah, not a not a big fan of sandbags. Uh, only fan only sandbag I'm a fan of is uh, the one in Smash, and uh, <laughs> that ain't this one. So, you know, nope. tough luck. Let's uh let's get behind this wall. You just destroyed a Tetris piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so evil. <laughs> I love Tetris. Now it's, now it's never gonna get into Smash. 
<laughs> and that's it for that. I'm so curious how this is going to get done. <laughs> oh, it's it, it's going to be great. Whatever, whatever you think it is, it's funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Because if I remember correctly, you have to like toss grenades in, in, into certain points at, uh, once you def break his defenses. Oh, do you? Hmm. Interesting. I, I don't. Rem <laughs> I, I don't think. You, I don't think you got to do that. Really? I don't, I don't remember oh, the game like... saying only grenades can take those out. I guess that's a good point. Well, I mean, it does say you should do that, but you know, it didn't say there isn't other ways to do it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take a break this turn. I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to play that round. That round sucked. Yeah, that's a bad I'll, turn. I'll let him think he's cool. Hang on. You really like, like signing those orders? <laughs> yeah, right. He's just one I, of those guys you put papers in front of. Him, he's like, I gotta sign this. Yeah, he, he he's. It makes me feel important. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, what are those? <laughs> oh no. What are those? <laughs> I see exactly where this is going. They're radiators. Must be. Oh, hey. Yeah, they don't. They don't mention grenades. Wow. Yeah, they just say take out those things on top of the tanks. Interesting. That's actually very funny. I I, I thought they probably did mention toss some grenades in there. For some and... reason, I had grenades in my head. Yeah, well, but I, I also mean... didn't. I guess every time I played this, I always try to balance out who I brought and then just. Stuff it full of, um, you know, those guys. Yeah, right. Let's uh, let's save here. We uh, we don't want to screw this up. <laughs> uh, okay, so all saved, right? So look at all that CP I got. I got mm -hmm. I got shit to spare, right? So <laughs> let's uh, let's get Largo out here, and then. Uh, you know what? Largo loves rubbing his face on tanks. So let's uh, let's see if we can get. There we go. Oh my god. So <laughs> so what we do is <laughs> we uh we just get tank slayer activated and just start wrecking this game. <laughs> so you you rub his face in. I didn't realize that's how tank slayer worked. Yeah. If you just uh. Or, if you just go up and down ladders repeatedly, there you go. Free. No way. Free. <laughs> That's wild. Yep. And then, oh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll end it there. Oh, hey, look at that. And then back down again. And then back up again. And then back down again. And then back up again. Come on, activate already. I'm trying to be funny. That is so silly. Oh, there we go. Boom. <laughs> Legend of Jess, what the fuck? We <laughs> green son of a... <laughs> oh, wait. I, Unbelievable. I, I already did it. Okay, so he's uh he's out of uh, ammo. That's a bummer, right? Can't really use him anymore, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. If only we had three more. <laughs> yeah. If only. Maybe someday. And then uh, Yoko also has a major major craving to rub her face on tanks so let's uh <laughs> come on now let's climb up and then back down and then back up again <laughs> and then back down again gosh you just keep doing this until tank slayer pops hey there it is funny that is ridiculous oh wow only one more hit to take care of it that's Oh, interesting. I wonder. I wonder if there's uh, anything else we can do about that. <laughs> oh, hey, she oh, got dang, it right that away. Was quick. Yeah, right. She, she's like, okay, now I understand. <laughs> it's like I don't feel like rubbing my face against this tank anymore. I'm just gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> All this tank face rubbing hurts. <laughs> oh, it immediately wow, popped. Wow, she is. She is raring to go. Yeah, she is like speed run strats. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, well, she's she out of ammo, up. so can't really do anything there. That's a bummer, right? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Let's. Uh, you know what? 
how about instead we uh, have the Edelweiss take over for a little bit, right? So oh. let's, uh, oh, what's this do? Greatly raises one ally's anti-tank attack power. Huh. Let's, uh, let's put that oh, on the no. Edelweiss. That sounds oh, no. really good, right? That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> God, I love this game. <laughs> so, it's so fun. So what you do, you, you just kind of, just kind of inchy boys over here to the, to, to the little gap here. Yeah, about right there oh sounds good, God. right? So, oh, Yoko got, gets knocked off. No big deal. She's okay. Look at her. She's a champ. And then, you know, and that, go. go back in again. So, what if I told you this not only takes out every radiator at once, but it activates every story cutscene at once? Wait, what? Yeah. So, you have to mash through three separate story sequences. Oh my god. Because they don't expect you to do this all at once, right? Yeah. So, there, there, there was the first one, there was the second one, and, uh, oh, there's the third one. So oh, now crap. we got to match the troops. That's not good. Oh wait. Yeah, right. <laughs> Chris did in the chat. Huh? Question mark. Question oh, mark. Man. Question mark. <laughs> not even a chance for Selvaria to get in here and be a pain. Oh yeah, she's just you know she's kind of hanging out over there. She showed up just to watch me do this. Uh, you know, joining in the chat, following me on twitchtv slash X. It's a great time. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a really great plan. I love it. Everyone loves it. Yeah. Um, let's see. And then uh, Theo, he's he's a good boy. Look at that pompadour. He he knows what's up. So <laughs> let's rub his face on the tank for a little bit. You know, get that clean pompadour goo all over the, the hair gel yeah, exactly. all over the tank. Got to put that pompadour to good use. <laughs> and then back up with the tank, and then down the tank. Oh hey, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and then. You're good there. What's funny is if you listen closely, you can hear hear Selvaria constantly like powering up, ready to fire. But because you're going up and down the ladder, she deactivates. Oh my god! <laughs> so you just you just live because she can't hit you because she can't attack. <laughs> that is amazing. I gotta and, and, destroy the tank itself as well. Yep, that's what I'm doing now. And then, there we go. Check me out. Check me out. <laughs> I will. Wild. See, because for a lot of people, especially me, when I first played this game, this level sucks. This is the worst, like one of it the is, worst in the game. <laughs> it's rough. It throws a lot out at you. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, here's a giant tank that just fires infinite bullets. Oh, here's a, a Valkyria, and she destroys anything that moves. And it's like, great, I just have so much to deal with. <laughs> ne next time I play this game, I'm going to use the this for the mission. Save so much time. Yeah. Oh, man, we didn't really idea. kill it, though, and we ran out of ammo. Yeah, That's not probably good. If only we had a class that could refill people. Oh, wait. Yeah. If only. All right, there we go. I didn't hear... Eh, whatever. You suck, Hubert. Bye. Herbert. What? Hey, Why he's you... fine. Look at him. Yeah, look at him. He's, he's sunbathing. He's fine. <laughs> and then back up. <laughs> and then down. <laughs> you agree. Next time I play this some game, I'm going to use this for the mission. Save so much time. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Yeah. <laughs> medic! <laughs> Dude, I don't think we you need think, a medic. I think he'll be fine. You're totally going to get an A rank on this. It, despite, it, it, like, despite feeling more turns than the other ones, it's still like so so much faster. Yeah, because normally this goes on for... I think the minimum the game expects you to do this is like 7. So the fact you do it above that is just amazing. Alright, come on now. Just pop already, jeez! I want to shoot get the tank. Little, yeah, get a little ridiculous here. Wait, did it already pop? And I'm just dumb. 
I don't think I saw it pop, but I could be crazy. Because he has the the arrow, but I don't think it popped. Can someone in chat confirm? Has anyone been watching? <laughs> I, yeah, I know. Hubert's just did, taking a nap. <laughs> did any of us see this pop? I, I swear it had to. Uh, how long would the map normally take? Like an hour? Probably. Like, you're looking at 45 to minutes to an hour. Yeah, for the most part. And that's assuming you don't just, like, mash through everything. <laughs> My legs aren't it, listening to me. All right, Hubert. Chill out. It, it had to have popped at this point, right? Yeah, the, I think statistically it's impossible. Oh, it popped when you were on the ground, but I... Th oh, I fired my shot. I'm just dumb. Okay. Oh, oh, my God. I didn't even notice that. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm losing it. Yeah, right. Okay, let's, let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> Everyone's just watching this guy go up and down the ladder for three hours. It's well, we like... can't shoot him because he's, he's just too fast going up and down the ladder. <laughs> That's insanity. Oh, hey, he got a bonus out of that. Nice. There we go. And it's done. <laughs> well, there you Max, go. Maximilian's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What Who are, are these crazy ass <laughs> Man, that guy's a master strategist. Who would have ever guessed? Four turns. Four turns. Go. That's ridiculous. There we go. And that and that's uh yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna show anything else. Uh I that those were the only missions I like really practiced and wanted to show off. I figured that'd take up about an hour and lucky for me, it was an hour and one minute. So I was yeah. right on right on estimate out. with that. Yeah. So there we go. Works out. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm going to save now because I'm going to play this later. <laughs> like, actually <laughs> play it. <laughs> L listen, Theo is just really into going up and down ladders, and no one wanted to stop him. So, somebody told him it was the corporate ladder, and he just got addicted. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. He, he got in on that, that investment <laughs> scheme. <laughs> <laughs> but, any, but anyway, that this this was uh, this was the Valkyria Chronicle speedrun showcase. I appreciate you, Derek, for hopping on and enjoying this with me, chatting about I it. I love and whatnot. this. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I figured it'd be a lot of fun because I remember you streaming it, and Valkyria Chronicles is one of my favorite games ever. Absolutely. Like period. Mine too. So, you know, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Derek, for joining me, and uh, have a good night, everyone. Later, everyone. <laughs>